India, day two. And it's straight back out into the noise and madness of Varanasi. Where today, I'm gonna to try and find myself a tuk-tuk to Saranath, I think that's how you say it. It's meant to be a quiet uh, village. Uh, hi, uh, want to get to Saranath? Yes, okay. How much? Saranath. Hmm? 500. 500. 500. Whoa, way too expensive. How much? Meant to be 150, 200. Max. Sir, only 400. Hey, how you doing? I'm looking to go to Sarnath. Sarnath? Yeah. yeah. Go back, come back and you go. I'm going to go stay there for a few hours till sunset. So I don't know how long and I'll you be. Go. Just go, yeah. How much? Pay? How much? Yeah, you The pay. hotel told me uh, 50 rupees. No, 50 rupees. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. So, maximum 200. How much? 200. That's all I have. 50 rupees more. 250. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> India, day two. Varanasi, day two. And I'm escaping the main city of Varanasi to go to Saranath, which is meant to be a green, quiet temple area. So let's see. Task one, we're securing and then securing and then negotiating a price with a tuk-tuk driver. Next stage is surviving the ride. <laughs> Welcome to Saranath. If you're getting a bit overwhelmed with everything that's going on in the city of Varanasi and the Ganges and down at the Ghats with the people, the hawkers, the dirt, the noise, the pollution, the, uh, everything that's going on there, it's well worth taking half a day, maybe even a day, to go and chill out at Saranath. There's various archaeological sites and uh, temples around this area much, much quieter. There is beautiful, well manicured lawns, big, huge trees, the archaeological temples and things to look around, and just nice places to sit and escape from the sun and the hassle of people trying to sell you something. Or, I, Having said that, even here, it's good to see there's security guards around, patrolling around. I've met four of them, three of them have asked me for money. It's, I know it's only day two of India and I've only been to one place, but you do have to get used to the in-your-face poverty that is obvious in India. Everybody knows about it. Um, you, you think about it before you come, but you just don't realize how in-your-face and how bad it is, um, or how rampant it is until you get here and, and literally, you know, everybody wants something from you. Everybody. And as a foreigner, you're an obvious target because you've probably got more money than any locals. But it is a bit of a pain when you're trying to visit a place and look around. Everyone wants their two cents from you. And sometimes it is as much as two cents, 20 cents. You know, they're not asking lots from you, but they all want it and nobody will leave you alone. Uh, they're all trying to sell you something, give you something, hike the price. And on principle, I always try and 
pay the fare, the going rate, because I don't like to be extorted, which is basically what it is. But also at the end of the day, I don't want to be caught arguing over 20 US cents. So it's a balance. Oh, well, after escaping the hustle and bustle and noise of Varanasi for the day in Sarana, it's time to go back. Uh, new Tuk Tuk rider into the hands of the Tuk Tuk we go as we go into the city of Varanasi. And see how busy it is. See how the driving is. One thing, it will be noisy. Paneer butter masala. Paneer butter masala. Okay. No, not spicy. Not spicy. New paneer butter masala and garlic naan and plain naan. Perfect. Thank you very much. Your plate, more sir? Plates? Ah, no, it's okay. Great, thank you. I have no idea I know what this is. I have no idea what this is. It doesn't look like meat. Okay, here he goes. There's paneer. Paneer butter masala. With naan bread. There's plain naan bread, garlic naan bread. Paneer. I have no idea what paneer is. It's like white stuff. I tell you it's not meat, it looks suspiciously vegetarian. So if somebody can tell me what paneer is, then I'll decide if I like it or not. Really short. Don't have any taste. Mm. Mm. Now this, I ask for something not too not spicy because I am not used to eating spicy food. But I'm learning that Indian not spicy is not the same as me not spicy. As I said, no spice at all, and I mean it's not burning much. I can feel a gentle tingle around my mouth already. Mm. Note to self: when they say not spicy, it's, for me it's mildly spicy. If they say spicy, it'll probably burn me. If it says very spicy in India, it probably means instant death as soon as I eat it. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck into my chicken butter, no, not chicken, my paneer butter masala. I think you know how it goes.